the hell was that? I want to go home. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, your boy, and welcome back to more Until Dawn. We're going to get right into the mix here, so let's go ahead and see what happened last time on Until Dawn. Blackwood winter getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Remember to leave that thumbs up, and we are now going to try to find our way into this little household here. And you know what? Probably die. Ashley's looking pretty hot today, right? Ashley always looking hot, brother, brother. You know what I'm <laughs> Me and Ashley, we're kind of a thing. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? <laughs> yeah, we're going to... Uh, What can I... Let's see, Chris. Cut it out, dude. Look at uh, uh, you know, and, you know, cut it out, man. Chris is probably one of those dudes that'd be like, hey, "Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, don't do it though." Uh, absolutely. When are you gonna take her to the bone zone? <laughs> That could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just A ripe the scenario? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Yeah, you about right. <laughs> You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. Yeah, me and Ashley gonna get it on. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I say we jettison through the window. Maybe you put a little crack in, and I'll just go ahead first. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies. I got this. Josh, shut up. That's not a good way to get laid. Did you come out here to get laid, Josh? Is that why you came out here, man? I thought it was to honor your sisters, man. What's wrong with you? Now, gimme, give gimme. Give Take this fire axe. I'm gonna be the killer now. Uh-oh. Clue found. Axe holder. Inspect. A wall-mounted holder that should contain an axe, but the axe is missing. The Washington Lodge exterior. So, we have clue number one, the wanted poster. We have clue number four, the axe holder. Huh. We have one totem. Ashley encouraged Matt to use a telescope. Matt saw Mike and Emily flirting. Oh, the butterfly effect continues. Huh. Well, this is not good. Looks like the axe is gone. I guess we can check it here. Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. I just had to turn off my GPS. Well, what is well, this? Well, we got ourselves oh. A nice one. Motion controls, yeah. Are we going to try to like jump on top of this and then get... See, I told you. Now crack the window a little bit and I'll jump in head first. You ever seen The Simpsons? That's what we're going to do. Oh my god, are you really about to fall, bro? You just got up there. Oh, we hit the Schwantan bomb. See, that's exactly what I was thinking. Head first. I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You got some really nice teeth, man. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. No, the climbing class, dude. Whoa. Did I do that? 
I don't, I don't think so. Here, use this. What is that? This man had a Zippo on deck. Okay. Whoa, Chris! I just got an awesome idea. Yeah. Totally. Don't leave. Ooh, don't wait, leave. Okay, don't leave. So I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh yeah. Who uses now spray on? That don't work. Just like we did with the Lormy dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Oh bye man, bye Chris is really about to die, huh? Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? No! No! Nope, but I'll do it. Okay, well, at God least he said no. I'm John Wayne Gacy at the first Thanksgiving, pilgrims. What are you... <laughs> the axe is gone, Josh? Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Not the. T oh! <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, this is so bad. We we should not get the deodorant. Right? Right, right? We should not get the deodorant. Or is it going to make us? Can we, like, skip the deodorant part? Because I think if we don't get the deodorant, she probably won't die. But it's so hard to tell. That's so vague. A vision of guidance for a future choice. The potential... Maybe... maybe because this one's not a guidance totem. Because the other one's like, you know, this one's a vision of guidance. Like, let the bird go. This one isn't like that. You know, this is just the potential loss of a friend. We just have to not... Spray it in her direction. We good over here, bro? This game's got me on skates! <laughs> See if we can find another totem. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're fresh out of ideas here, so I guess we'll go into one of these rooms. I don't know what to do. Somebody fitting to die. Oh, what's this? X. Oh, another clue. Hold on. No! Okay, well, I think we can press R1 and look at it. Newspaper fragment. The report covers a court case related to Blackwood Pines. An old janitor tried to burn the place down. In the dock, he swore revenge on the Washington family. Ex-janitor convicted for arson. Uh-oh. That's not good. Victor Milgram was yesterday sentenced to 16 years in prison for aggravated arson committed on Blackwood Pines. Milgram was employed as the janitor of the Mountains Old Hotel for 28 years. However, when Hollywood producer Bob Washington acquired the property, Milgram was fired. In a sensational twist, the sentencing ended with an enraged Milgram screaming obscenities at Washington's heavily pregnant wife, Melinda, calling her a effing whore. He vowed to get all of you, your effing husband and kids, and said that he would make them suffer. Melinda had visibly struggled to maintain her composure throughout the case and later claimed that though she was upset by Milgram's threats, she had full faith in the legal system. Well, you're gonna learn today. The legal system's busted from the inside out. <laughs> Alright, let's move over here. Let's fast walk our butt cheeks over here. Hello? Hello? Yo, look at that poster. Oh, look at this. We got a little picture of the kids. What we got over here? Huh? Aw. That's cool. Family portrait clue found. Oh, this is for the twins, though. This isn't the same one. See, this is for the mystery man. And this is a different clue. This is for the twins. A portrait of the Washington family. Hannah is wearing a distinctive locket. 
Well, sorry about killing him. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else can we find down this creepy hallway? See, this camera angle is just not good for me. Huh? What the hell was that? I want to go home. I can fuck Ashley on my own time. I don't need to be here, man. Oh, no, not this, man. Oh, God. Here we go, boys. <laughs> okay, we should go straight for the door. I'm not trying to... Can we just open the door? Can y'all come in, please? Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? It's more difficult Fine. than that. I don't want to be here, man. All right, Chris. We got the snow bunnies outside. We got to figure out something. I don't want to be here, man. Let's go in here. Bro, what is going on in this household? What's this up here? Oh, we got the TV? What you got on here? This house sucks, man. You got this big TV, ain't even get... All right, let's see what else we got in here. Can we go behind the couch? No. Why is there whispering? Who is... This house is wild, bro. Hello? I'm just looking for a light switch or... I don't know. Something to... I don't know what I'm looking for. What's this? Look at his finger! Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. And a man! A message from a local police officer about a convict being released from jail. It's a warning. Run! Such as? Okay. Let's you know, that's good. Hey, it's all good, dude. Hey, just because you hear weird walking and other stuff in the house, that don't mean nothing, dude. It's all good, man. I mean, motion control. Oh. Prom night photo. Another clue. To the twins, maybe? A photo of Hannah. Sam, Mike, and Emily at the high school prom. 4, 25, 13. Hey, that's just a couple days after my birthday. Nice. All right, maybe we should head upstairs. Honestly, I don't know anymore. He said get the deodorant, but honestly, I'm too deep. I'm just trying to die now. All right, so that's not working. I guess we'll head upstairs. I just want the people in the house. So, like, you know... Don't go upstairs. Oh, I thought the game was telling me don't go upstairs. I mean, I think it's kind of was trying to tell me don't go upstairs, but that's a whole nother thing, you know. Hey, voices, can y'all chill for like five to maybe like 10 minutes? Just let me figure out what to do here. Where Ant Man is house? Crazy. Got the lights on. All right, hey. Y'all got a power switch in here somewhere? Am I getting closer? What is that noise? Are you good in here?
What is that noise? Oh, what? You want me to do something with the motion control? Ooh! The infer- Is that the infer- ah! Get the fuck? Ah. Oh, you got the rabies now. Man, what time to die? <laughs> We're freezing our buns off out here. I know, I'm coming. Perfect. Genius level IQ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> Man, if someone <laughs> don't get that God, damn dude, thing yeah. out of here. What was it? Are you okay? It's like a... Bear or tiger. It's like a shark or something. Oh, it's just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby, don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Oh, come on, man. He had to bury me in front of my girl like that. You know Matt's about to make some confrontational oh, jokes. Home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. Why don't you get the TV on? Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. Yeah, because there's a murder on the What's loose. Oh, here it goes. Here it go I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. Oh, no. It took 15 to seconds right? for this to fire up. It's easy there, cowboy. I saw. Stay away. Challenge him. I saw you and him, homie. What the hell were you doing with him out on the trail? What? I, I saw, saw you, you through the telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Just making sure, homie. Nah, I, I overreacted. That's my bad, man. Right. Yeah. Duh. Sorry, it's been kind of a long day. I overreacted. Nah, man. Don't worry about it. Be cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yo, if I find out you fucking her, bro, I'm a, I'm the killer now. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You need to do it. You do All right, Mike. You got your own girl over there. I'll steal your girl. What's up, man? You oh, walking in kind of late. God, that is so gross. <laughs> Are what? you trying to swallow his face whole? Um, I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? Okay. No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me. Oh my did god. Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Oh now, my I god. She didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> You're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncalled. Look, whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are oh! you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth. Oh! No. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. Square up! to get right up in your business, you bitch. Let's you go! Get real? Hey! I am down hey. to get real. Who got the camera? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not <laughs> what I want. This is exactly what you wanted. We get along for 10 minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? No! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. I love how Mike can't even step in. I'm just instigating the whole thing. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What you say, bitch? It's right up the trail. Well, that's over. You gotta stand by your chick. Come on now. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? 
My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. I threw it off Matt, a cliff. Are, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Yo, Emily, are you okay? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Whoa. Oh my god, Emily, please calm down. You must have left it down by the cable car station. I'm not going back there. I will come die. On, hon. We'll be back soon. Oh my god, we all gonna die. Emily! Get very warm. Well, hold on now. Now you wanna Okay. Oh, okay. Whatever just happened? Sure. Let's go. Let's do it. I just don't know. Somebody gonna die to some sort of fire. And there is nothing I can do to stop that. If we get to play as Mike first, that's my bad, homie, because you fitting to die. Oh. Works for me. Far. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I'm and glad that you know you're going to die. Play your cards right, and maybe you will get lucky. Um, hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Yeah, I'm Josh is wild, dude. Like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. Fire up the generator. Was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. You don't want an Eiffel Tower or not? Man, you weak, dude. I bet you Matt would be all over that. I can tell. Chris would be. Yeah. I mean, Jess ain't. You know, Jess ain't nothing. To, she looking good. I'm just saying. All right, give me a second, honey. I'm gonna look around up here, okay? Big Mike gotta do Big Mike things. Anything up here for me? Matter of fact, we should probably check our status updates. We don't have any more of that. We ain't found nothing for 1952. I don't even know what that means. No more totems, but we did get a new butterfly effect. Matt sided with Emily during the fight with Jessica. Ooh, we haven't got the other side of the butterfly yet. I guess we'll, that'll play out in a minute when Mike fucking dies. <laughs> Somebody's dying. We are not making it to this. This 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 cabin thing is not happening. Can I go back in the house? We don't want to go to the cabin no more. It's crazy out here, man. The axe is gone. Somebody burned to death. I, I, matter of fact, can I look at who burned to death? Where was that totem? That's Emily. Emily dead. Stay away. This is... Okay, so Emily was in the cabin. On fire. So... Whenever... Actually, she had black hair. It looked like it at least. But... I'm just saying, Jess also has the thing around her jacket. So, I mean, it could... It could be anybody, honestly. What's this? Hey, Hot Lips. Photo booth? All right, read my mind. <sighs> oh, this is a good spot for a photo. Okay. Instagram wildin'. Oh, let me get us both in the shot here. Hold on, hold on. It's hard. It's hard to get the shot. Okay. Why, why, why are you looking like that? Oh my God! Can you make a nice face? Oh my God! <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. Noted. Ooh. All right, let's go. I mean, that was a pretty damn good photo. I mean, I like to think that I'm a professional at this point. Give me Lightroom, Photoshop, maybe, and we're really going to be working. Burr, it is freezing out here. That's something well, I yeah, we need to actually I'm find the generator that. first. So if you want to find uh, that... Ooh, what's this? Not a lot of TLC for this place anymore. Kind of a bummer. 
Yeah, we're gonna die. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm telling you, man, it's rough out here. This path don't lead nowhere good, I'm gonna tell you that much. You see something? What's up, baby girl? Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. No, we got dissension here, cause I'm not, you gotta get get away. Unless you want to be open to the the whole Eiffel Tower thing, I was mentioning it's not a bad idea. I'm just saying, but doesn't it? I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. Oh, you know that's what he's gonna be asking you to be doing here in just a second, honey. Oh, so the generator's this way, so we need to head out to the generator. So let's go this way. Beep. Huh. It don't work. This thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Yeah, but I mean, the gen it says generator that way. Maybe the generator is this way. Oh man, we gonna die. Oh, what's hold on? What's this? Hey, Mike. Oh, I thought that was a totem. Generator or what? Wait, is this a totem? Oh no! Oh my God! What was that? The threat of a future danger. Sometime after the prospectors. The prospectors, the pilgrims, the pioneers. That's who did it. What? Someone in a did what? Is that Ashley? Did Ashley just get punched in the throat by a clown? What is going on here? Damn, he clocked her ass. What is going on? Uh-oh. This is, uh, hey. Let me tell you, hey, Jess, let me tell you something. Mike, I know, All right, Jess. Alright. Let's see. Oh, what we need to do? Oh, there we go. Oh, look at us. Buttons and stuff. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. The motion controls. Hey! There we go. Woo, you are a wizard. I know. I'm a man with a plan. Jess, we should fuck right now, or else we ain't never gonna fuck, cause we gonna die. You ever seen the movie Slashers? And you know they have the, they have the sex room where you live a little bit longer if you have sex. That don't exactly work in most horror movies, but we should try, cause we gonna die. Can we just go home? I wanna go home. I wanna go home. Don't walk too fast. Yeah, totally. No, this is awesome. Oh yeah, I bring the hit. You, you about to get hit in the throat. You psyched yet? Oh yeah, I'm. Psyched yet? I'm. Oh, I am so psyched. Right <laughs> God help like us a all. A sexcapade. A what? Oh, right, hold on now. A oh, what, Scapade? I'm glad they got the music. Police tape. From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. You should. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. I know. Mike's not that bad of a guy. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Because we had glasses McGee over here. I saw you in the mirror window thing. I saw what you're doing. Hear that? 
I heard something. Yeah. What in the blue hell could that have possibly? That won't know like tree. That was a human scream. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, what no you mean? Way. Just jump, We're forehead. Going to the lodge, aka Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. Well. You know what? <laughs> Fuck it. We're adventurous. Please. Oh <laughs> no! Not the mines. <laughs> Jess! Fuck. Hey, Jess, I'm pretty sure out. in that thing we saw. Okay. Um, okay. Holy crap! You scared the heck out of me. I didn't think I felt. Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... Uh, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Oh, bitch, you gonna die. All right, coming after you. Just stay put. <laughs> Oh my god! What? No, what? Oh, no, 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 no. We gonna die, bitch! Oh, no, this ain't good. Okay. Oh, we doing a little bit of pushy pushy. I imagine just grunting together. This is not what I pictured. Oh, he's talking about having sex with her, like his wiener. Nice. You know, we are gonna die down here, man. There, look at this. Look at this, man. And Jess. Why are we down here, man? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, my uh, back hurts, man. Yep. Yep. I'm fine. He steps right back onto the track. Yes. All right, Jess. Oh, Nelly. This place is giving me the willies. What's over and here? Not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? We'll save it for the cabin, Buster. What's up here now? What's over here? Oh. Huh. It's Dogie. Hold on now, Hoomst. The mystery man. A stubbed out cigar butt. It looks like it was left recently. Uh oh. Recent. Wonder who's up here. Whoa. Mystical symbol. This place is Strange symbols painted on the wall of the mine. It's not clear what they mean. Like, it means we are going to die. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? Yeah, yeah, Native American for sure. <laughs> One. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. Okay. What's this over here? A Jeez. mine danger map? This place is a real fixer rubber. 1952. A map showing structural faults in the mine, marked up by a mine engineer. Looks like the owners knew there was a risk of collapse. Well, that's the first thing we got for 1952. I hope there wasn't anything downstairs, because we can't really go back now. We're a little too deep. There was probably a totem that said, get ready to eat shit and die. Yeah, 
we don't have those. Well, we've made it pretty far, but we're getting tailed by, uh, somebody. Can we check anything out over here? I thought maybe we could look over there, but it doesn't look like it. Ooh, look at this. Oh, I thought maybe we could go that way. We're actually going to make it to the cabin? Jess, can you believe it? Let's go, baby girl. We gon' get to fucking tonight. Well, well. When Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Ooh. Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on Okay, you? stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. You alright? I just saw someone at the cabin. Yo, let me see! Okay. Let me see. Who's at the cabin? I don't see nobody. Okay, I just saw somebody. We gotta go! Hey, Jess. Stay close by, okay? What's up? We got Northwestern uh, Wolves, this posting says there's Grizzly Bears, bears and Elk? Uh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Let's on, please. go Come home. On. Is the cabin this way? Let's not hug a bear. There we go, pushy pushy. All right, come on, we're close to this cabin. I don't know if we're gonna get there or not, but it'd be a good time, I'll tell you that much. The ever looming sex capades. It's an elk. Watch out, bird brain. <laughs> just, just answering his mating call. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, got a lot of love to give. <laughs> you need to slow down. Yeah, see, I ain't afraid to say it. All right, now if we fall into this water, we dead. It's too damn cold to be swimming around. All right, Jess, listen up, because it's about to get real dumb. We keep getting closer and closer, and I know this dude is getting closer and closer. Josh, you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here. <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. What you gonna do? Ooh, ooh. Oh, boo. Show off. Hey, Mike. You got something on your face. <coughs> she is so good at throwing snowballs. Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. What just happened? Demi! What? You wanna help me get this fire going? No! Uh, uh, no fire! I'm the fire is... The we're gonna get in the oh. bath. There's no fire. Don't oh, know. Do you need mm. any help with that? Hardy R. somebody's gonna die in this country, motherfucker. I'm telling you right now. We got a fire going. I already don't like the sound of that. Come on. Come on! Alright, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Lootly, lootly, lootly. 
Oh, baby, we fit in the die tonight. Okay. Um. Let's see. Can we just get in the bath? I just want to get in the bath, to be honest. I don't want to get no fire. No fire. We still have the opportunity to just go home. There is nothing here for us. What's in here? What's this room? Oh, we got a couple of things in here. We got a TV too. What's the tattoo? Johan D. Smith tattoo artist. Well, it wasn't a clue to anything. It just just was there. Oh, that's where she got the tattoo. Aw. Love Josh. What's this over here? Dear Hannah, I would be delighted if you could attend my awesome party, Casa de Mike. There's something underneath it. Oh! Hey, Hannah, crush much? Yeah, well, she did like the mic. Anything in here? Nah, it ain't Mike. What you mean? Is there something on the back? Matter of fact, let me look. Let me try to flip it over real quick and see if we can find something on the back. <gasps> oh! Mostly C's. Uh oh, this is not going to work. He's like a crazy, reckless hunk of man, and you're sitting at home working on your embroidery and practicing G minor on the piano. Give it up! Do something really wild. Run away from home. Get a tattoo. Did she get a tattoo just because it. You shenarious? A screwed up magazine quiz. It looked like Hannah wasn't happy with the answer she got. It's an indication of her emotional state on the night of the twins' disappearance. Well, thank goodness I picked that back up and looked on the back of it, huh? I should start doing that more often. Maybe there was something on the back of that, uh... Oh, we checked there. I don't think there was anything there. Why don't we check on the back of this? Flippy, flippy. Yep. Tattoo card. March 18th, 2013, 9.30 a.m. The butterfly. Hannah had an appointment to get a tattoo. She got the butterfly. Anything else in this sweet room? Ooh. Hannah, Josh, and Beth, you were invited to Sam's Halloween party. Hey. Fancy dress. Obligatory. What the hell is going on? That's the picture that he showed us for... Dog, I'm telling you, that doctor is the dude. I'm telling you, man. He somehow got out of prison. <laughs> And he got a new job. I don't know how he did it, but uh, it's impressive. Let's ch let, let me make sure I can't do anything with this. I don't know, flip it around or something. Okay. I was just making sure. But we found a bunch of stuff in this room. She really liked the butterflies. I'm telling you, man. A psychiatrist, I'm telling you. I don't even know if he's a psychiatrist. I don't know why we're there. Oh, uh, there's nothing over here. Well, I guess we'll go downstairs and die. Ooh, what's this? Who opens a door like that?
I mean, I don't even know why we're here, man. Oh, let's head downstairs. Hey, Ashley, get it, hey. No, no, no. Who do shit? No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and. Well, hey Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. Right, no, 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 no. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Oh, God. Um. Okay. So this man's got like shoulder he's got like elbow pads on his shirt oh baby i guess i'm ready for a ride along we shouldn't turn on the boiler to be honest we should just let everything be yo hold on what's over here now i'll be there in a second i saw something over here gleaming Locked. Well, darn it. I thought maybe that was going to be something interesting. Josh, can I ask you a question, homie? Did you bring us here to kill us? Are you related to the mystery man? Did you kill your sisters? What's going on here, buddy? I need answers. Hey, you notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. Okay. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over. You know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, like... See, that's what I was thinking. I was like, why is there a clown? Because we ain't seen no clown. Hold on now, beach photo, what's this? A photo of Josh, Hannah, and Beth on the beach. It was taken before the summer they disappeared. I think that the clown was probably Josh and he was trying to make a traumatic event, which may, would make more sense than the guy who's in the goggles being like, hey, I'm a clown now. <laughs> probably makes more no, sense. Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say, you're looking quite good. What? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this. Together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 for sure, homie. Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. I don't know about all that. There could be like an AR-15 strapped to one of these. Or a shotgun or something. I haven't found any clues or anything. Sorry to drag you down into the bowels. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. I guess not. What's this? What do you got a baseball bat down here for? Humorous. That's what I want to do. There we go. That's what I said. Why? Why I wanted to pick it? Be pretty rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam. Anyway, 
I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? I feel like we should take that bat just to be safe. Here, can you can you hold this? Nope. Okay, that was a lot of footsteps. That wasn't just like a rat. Hey, can you just keep the light so I can see? I didn't okay. even know I was supposed to not move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just, you know. I ain't moving. Ain't no one going nowhere. I ain't moving. Don't nice. worry. My heart's racing a little bit. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. I got it. Okay, I'm just try again. Okay. Oh. That's more like it. <laughs> All right. Five, girl. Mm. Yeah. Did we just high five QTE? There was definitely someone back there. Grab the bat. There was definitely someone running back there. Grab the bat. You're the worst. Oh, you were really freaked out. Oh my God. Don't move. What? Nothing behind you. Yeah, right. Look. Yeah, I don't want to. See, here's what I'm thinking. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to make him start thinking that I'm playing with him all the time. Because then there's gonna really be someone behind him. We should check it out together. Because. What if it's like a, a pipe that's about to burst or some problem with the furnace? Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. What about the bat? What about the bat? What about the bat? Get the bat. What about the bat? No! You can't grab the bat! This is horrible news. What the hell? That's Chris. No, I'm behind by these doors. No, you're good. Chill. I, you can hear in the way he breathes. Hey. Hey. Oh my god, it's the Fonz! You just got mumped. What? <laughs> nice, nice one. That was good. Wait, but why would you do that? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you are you serious? Were you in on this putz? <laughs> no, but I, I was Jason the Monk. That was too good. We QTE high fives. I'm ready to That's crazy. That your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank 
which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared, admit it. I was not! Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! Oh god, we all fit in a dial here. What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're gonna take a vow of silence. Chill! <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Oi, 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 oi. Here's our one way ticket to Put that thing away. You know, what are y'all doing, man? Damn. Through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. Y'all are wild and out. What's up, murderer? I know it's you. You ain't slick showing me that photo. Hey. Yo, what was that? I would like to understand your feelings toward people of fear, isolation, loneliness. I'm lonely every day of my life. Do you share this fear? What what the hell is this? There's a there's a big ass snake and then there's whatever the hell that is. What do you mean? I said we on that thing. Okay, you know what? Sure. And now, let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. Okay. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? <sighs> Loyalty. So you would tell a lie in order to be loyal to a friend? Okay. And what about loyalty versus charity? The fuck does that even mean? Charity? I go with the snake. <laughs> so you would sooner look after your friends for caring for those in greater need. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay, that's what you mean. You ain't seen my life is strange walk there, have you? I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. All right, big dog. Ah, that's what it is. We're under a genjutsu. See, I didn't see I was wondering how we were even here or what's going on. I knew that, man. Just a brain can. <laughs> Big brother, teach me shuriken jutsu. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you? not hear me with your sluttiness. Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? <laughs> Jess! So, it says here. To communicate with the spirit world, you must. Are we really about to do this? Of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is. It sounds awful. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, hey! I'm serious. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Okay then. Let's oh no. Nah. Ashley, since you're a recent convert, why don't you be our medium for today? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know about this. Uh, 
I think that's a good place to stop for this episode. On the next one, we will mess around with his Ouija board, which I'm, I'm telling you, I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but we'll see. Uh, remember to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed for more of that goody-goody, and I'll see you guys next time. See